Hello, my name is Chrysalis, and I'm the symbol for Graves' Disease Awareness and Thyroid Cancer Awareness. Today, we are going to be listening to someone else's story about Graves' Disease and how it affected them and their family. But first, let me explain. Your thyroid cells are the most important cells in your body. They are located in the thyroid gland. When cells get out of balance, they can mess up the body mentally and physically. This is the reason why people with Graves' disease go through surgery or thyroid ablation. With the ablation, if the thyroid is not completely terminated, then it can form thyroid cancer. With both the ablation and surgery, you are required to take medicine to keep your TSH levels under control. Without further ado, here is Casey Kennedy's story about how Graves' disease affected her and her family's life. Until next time, Chrysalis out. It was really emotional because I didn't really understand what was happening. And I was really unsure at the time what exactly was wrong. So it just really tore me apart. I feel like everyone was effective in their own way. Um, mostly mom and dad, I feel. Um, especially like most of everyone, but I feel like the one that it affected the most was mom definitely because she was always there and seeing me go through every thing as far as getting my blood taken to each procedure they did. I was thankful. Um, just it, it's a really relief. I felt relieved and thankful and I felt like um, kind of like a walking miracle just to be improved and go through that. It was a good experience on my part. Just having everyone's support and uh, everyone just around supporting me and keeping me strong. You know, and I had everyone behind me. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be where I am today. And uh, I wouldn't change a thing. Me going through this and seeing everyone it hurt me emotionally because I did know that even though they were strong, it did hurt them. Uh, just seeing me go through it and it broke everyone's emotions. Um, and I also feel like with everything that was going on, it just changed everyone, but mostly me. At a young age going through that, it's something you can't change. And you just learn from it. As a mom, I was a mess because there's not a mother in the world that wants to see their kid go through a situation that you went through. I thought that I was about to lose my baby. And seeing you go from cheering to not being able to walk to having to take therapy three times a week and going through blood work to the point that you couldn't it would make you sick because you didn't have enough blood in your body there's not a mom in the world that wants to see their kid go through that i thought i was going to lose you it's just the greatest thing i've ever been through in my life Everybody was scared. Everybody was worried. Um, the girls we had to explain to, but they were worried. They were little, but they knew once we explained everything that was going on. Daddy, he was worried. He tried to be strong, but we both know he's. Bubby was the same way. Everybody was a mess, but we just try to do and be strong for you. I was thankful. I knew that once you started getting better with the doctor that you have, it was going to keep getting better and better and seeing you from going, not being able to walk, to taking therapy, to playing basketball, 
It was amazing. I would change, if I could, like any mom would, I would change the situation completely and not have you sick. Well, I seen you being sick. <coughs> and your mommy going through a whole lot. To be the strong one between you and your mommy, being down and out, and I mean, somebody has to be strong. It affected you the most, as of because you was down and couldn't go to school and couldn't walk, and it just it, you was down. I brought it brought your sisters closer to you. And your brother. It affected my mom the most because she is very emotional. <laughs> um, Casey can't be like within 30 feet without mom freaking out. I mean, her going to college now really, really, really freaks her out. Um, when we were younger, Casey normally stuck beside our mom the most because mom was afraid that something would happen and mom wouldn't be within arm's reach to do something to help. So it really did affect her the most because she was the one who was constantly in and out of Casey's room giving her medicine, bringing her food, you know. So she, at the time, she wasn't allowed to be around any of us from the medication she was on and the diet and all that stuff. So, you know, mom was the only one, you know, that could go in and out. So. It really did affect me by just the thought of losing Casey. Um, mine and Casey's bond has been amazing. Um, since our parents first met, you know, I've always wanted an older sister and I had one when I was younger, but she passed away due to cystic fibrosis, a uh, disease of the mucus in the lungs. And the thought of losing Casey to a, a disease that was critical in her condition and could cost her her life really did scare me at the point, but I just kept being hopeful and having faith that she'd get better and here we are now with a bond that's been going on for about mm, 10 years and I'm really thankful for that bond. It made me really sad because I didn't know what was going on at the time and it scared me. It made everybody really sad and I didn't know what was going to happen so all we could do is take it day by day and pray. It was sad because what she was going through stuff that was but I know you'd be all right if, when you when you got through with it, I knew you'd be all right. It's something that you can't keep from worrying about it, but you just gotta have hope. That's all we can do. We never knowed from day to day what was going to happen. It could have been worse, it could have been better. How would it affect me if I was in your shoes? I really don't know. I have seen adult women wake up and have it one day and never knew they had anything wrong with them. And it took a toll on their body and their mind. So it was a good thing you found out early.